Hi, once again, Pastor Bob Runnels from True Life Community Seventh day Adventist Church. I have a football story for you today. Bobby Dodd was a famous football coach at Georgia Tech. He tells the story of one Saturday he was playing and uh, his team, the Georgia Tech team, was ahead seven to six. So you can tell it was a big defensive battle. Uh, there was just a minute left and they had the ball. That is, Georgia Tech had the ball. And Bobby Dodd went to his quarterback and he said, now don't throw the ball. Whatever you do, don't throw the ball. Well, in the next 10 or 15 seconds, they worked the ball down to the 10 yard line. They only had 10 yards to go for a touchdown. Well, the quarterback took the ball and the, the seconds were ticking away. And in the excitement of the moment, he just couldn't resist and he threw the ball. <laughs> Well, it was intercepted. Oh boy, and the other, the other team member with the ball was running down the sideline for a touchdown. And the whole Georgia Tech team gave up on trying to tackle the guy because he was just too fast, except for the quarterback. He kept running and kept running after this guy that had the ball and, and he finally tackled him. <laughs> and the guy dropped the ball and the quarterback recovered. So Georgia Tech won that day seven to six. <laughs> After the game, the other coach, the opposing coach came over to Bobby Dodd and he said, I will never understand how that quarterback ran our defender down and tackled him and then recovered the ball. And Bobby Dodd said, well, it's like this. You see, your guy was running for a touchdown. My guy, was running for his life. <laughs> so you see, there was kind of an urgency, a, a real urgency in this quarterback's, uh, in this quarterback's game. Um, the Bible talks about urgency. Yeah, and, uh, and Paul talks about urgency all the time, about the second coming of Jesus and the urgency we should have in letting people know about it. In the book of Romans chapter 13, verse 11, Paul writes, and do this, knowing the time that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. For now, our salvation is nearer than when we first believed. There's an urgency. There should be an urgency in our lives every day. When we see people on the street, there should be an urgency in us to let them know about Jesus, our neighbors, our family, our friends. Let's pray that God will give us that urgency that is needed so that other people will know him and believe in him and be saved for eternity with us. Lord, I thank you that uh, you can plant within our lives, within our hearts, an urgency for the people we love. I pray that you will bless us with that gift of urgency in these last days so that others will see Jesus in us and want to have eternal life with Jesus forever. In his name we pray. Amen.